Anyways, as we wait, does anybody want to add anything to the table? Guy, guys, guys, <laughs> I, I crashed. Oh, I crashed. come on, for oh. real? <laughs> no, God damn it, I just started. <laughs> Later, I ruin it. Later, I'm ruin it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Lame. Lame. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. My back. Oh, my back. <laughs> oh, hi, chat. Welcome to the stream, all of you. You know, fellas. I guess, I guess this is this is just real nice. We're starting off real nice. I honestly, I'm just, just gonna say this right now. I did not expect that to happen because I was using Opera GX now, but it's still doing it, and I'm just like, okay. Computer okay. whack. Yeah. Computer be whack. It's man. not even Minecraft Harper. It's just their. It's just, it's just their computer. It's whack. Wow. Yeah, it's it's oh, just computer. I don't mind swearing in my chat. Just if you use any slurs or anything else, I will kick you immediately. You will be gone. I am going to buy you a new PC, Yuki. It's going to happen. No. I am going to. It's it's, it's going it's going, going to happen. No. We're building Yuki a PC. That's I, 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 yeah, we're we're doing it. We're doing it. We're we all can, in collective all... agreement. That's the first no. point of agenda. On we get yeah, yeah, meeting adjourned. Meeting adjourned. Order <laughs> comes together to build Yuki a new computer. That's the biggest problem. We need, we need Yuki <laughs> to get a good PC. Everyone has to agree to pitch in one component for that PC. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, just one, just the one component. Be, oh my god! I'm PC donating, ever. guys. No, hold on. I'm donating this screw. It helps with the case. <laughs> I will donate a single wire. <laughs> <laughs> driver to piece drive by piece, through. we get this PC over a span of 12 years. God, God dang it. Oh, I hate every time okay, that happens. On. I got it. 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 A GeForce RTX. Goodness yeah, gracious. Okay. Goodness gracious. Hey, God. We got I swear to God, my computer. I swear to God, oh, my computer is going to be parts of people Claude, donating get, stuff to it. Claude Bentley is right Bentley's next to you. Right. They're <laughs> really <laughs> close to you. God. Hey, God. Hey, And this is unbelievable. Hey don't, God, worry, hey don't worry, chat. We'll be back. <laughs> don't worry. We're, 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 we'll hey. get this ball rolling as soon as Claude gets over there. Are you floating out? Hang <laughs> on. Why am I floating? <laughs> you can't. Are you flying? Are you, you in, are you in computer? D right hey, there. Just have them stay there. Have them stay there. Have them stay there. That's fine. I'm like lagging. I'm sorry. I'm lagging. Have them stand there. Yeah, yeah, no, I already did. Yeah, they're fine. Get, they're fine. Get up on the throne. Get up on the throne. <laughs> I get it, 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 I guess see it, I see it, we're professionals. We're professionals, We're professionals, totally, Absolutely. professionals, totally. No. Anyways, um, oh, we're gonna oh, start are we, now. Are we, going, are we going back in lore now? Let's go, let's do this. Okay. All right, all right, three, two, one, go, y'all. Ah, yes, welcome, everybody, to the New World Order meeting. Oh, God, anyways... Let's just get this over with, shall we? So as you may all know, we finally discovered the leader of the Argus insurgency, or rather insurgency. And, uh, well, they decided to basically try to do something during the ball. Now, as much as possible, I wanted the ball to be work-free for me, as I've not been in the best condition as you can see so what are we going to do about them well we've already set up a bounty on their heads as you may have noticed 120 emerald blocks per insurgency member so that's a big amount of money now <sighs> anyways i would just like to say one thing before we go any further with this meeting, I hope that not a single one of you has actually decided to harbor these traitors. Because if I find out any one of you sitting in this council room has decided to do that, well, let's just say, let's just say your heads will be on the chopping board. Got it? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Am I understood? Yes. 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 
But, now that we have that settled, brother, what's our agenda for today? Well, first and foremost, I think it's only right to at least say the names of the rebels. If you, for whatever reason, haven't seen the wanted posters, there's... Well, there was four, but now there are three. As for the fourth one, we took them in for questioning, and well, they were really no of use of us, so... As of right now, they're taken care of. But, when it comes to the other three, the leader of this insurgency is Sky of Orlade. Unfortunately, circumstances only worked less in your favor, so... Yeah. Unfortunate, but things happen, I guess. The next on our list is Ona from Victorian, a person I trusted. Or at least I thought I could trust. Not sure why they would stoop to this level, but doesn't matter anymore what their motivations are. They're a threat, and they need to be captured. And the last person is my own blood. My own son, Davern. Which, as far as I'm concerned, last time we checked out into Cicero Ambulatus, the place was deserted. And, well, Antarctica's not within our jurisdiction, so... They could be anywhere at this point. We're thinking of placing more security in those places, just in case they think of, well, they have any bright ideas of returning to them. Secure their items, you know, claim it as ours. You get the gist. Anyways. What else, brother? I'm sorry. I'm in the best state right now. As you can see. I'm having my own personal issues right now. I think that would be something that we have to bring up, don't you think? All right, so... I have recently just found out two of my kids are missing. Huh? Two of my kids are missing. I don't know how they managed to slip past the Azor Guard, but somehow they found a way. They probably found a route where most of the guards were lacking or less and decided to act then and there. But yes, they are missing. I haven't seen them since the ball. So if any one of you has actually seen or ever heard of their whereabouts, I'd like to know. Truth be told, despite what you all think of me, they're my children and I care a lot about their safety. Usually, when they go out into the world, they usually come back, but I haven't seen them in a few days. I only have one person with me now, one of the children with me, which is Kitty, and she's being guarded right now. My other Azur guards. Most likely Shadow, actually, now that I see she's probably not here. So, if any of you have seen where my kids are, please tell me their whereabouts. As their mother, I want them to be safe, and I don't want any harm to come to them. The wilderness out there is very dangerous. <sighs> what else we have on the agenda? Is that all? Hmm. Far from over, if anything. Then can you please proceed while I try to calm my headache? Alrighty then. As for rebellion property, it is being seized by the New World Order. Any towns, settlements, or even homes that even remotely belong to the rebels is being seized by our control. If they want to go home, they're going to have one hell of a way of doing so. Anything that they have could be of use of us. Or to us, I should say. And as of right now, I see a lot of empty seats and a lot less faces around here. So anybody who hasn't appeared here is already suspicious on their own. Some people might have alibis, but some don't. And trust at this factor is dwindling. It is holding on to a thread, and I need you all to understand that. The insurgency Brother... isn't just an insurgency. Brother, I recommend standing in the middle. If it, when you're doing that, just so people take a look at your face. There you are. 
Continue. As a matter of fact, I think I need to make it bluntly clear to everybody. As I look through all of you right now, my trust hangs on a needle. Things are happening in ways that we couldn't even fathom. And I want you all to understand that the enemy is attacking us for the ridiculous reason of Pandora's Law. That and some stupid grudge against my sister. So if anybody doesn't want to feel the wrath of the New World Order, then you know what decision you need to make. It is your life against many. An insurgency means one thing, but war, war. means another. Think about that for a real second. You want to live your lives in peace, in solitude? We want to as well. So if you make the right decision, you'll stand with us against these rebels. These rebels will bring nothing but chaos, anarchy, and destruction. And I know that for a fact, because that's what they did at the ball. They shot at us with arrows, pushed us in the water, and spit on us. But we need to make sure that they know damn well that we're ready for them. Again, think about it. You live your lives in peace and solitude. Only for it to crumble down because an insurgency didn't like how we did things. A rebellion. Is that really what you want for your lives? To fight for a cause that's already lost? I'll let you all think about that. It's very important that we know who we can trust. I highly doubt all of you already know that I barely trust people. But since all of you did manage to show up, some of them, not so. I will say this. Don't be a traitor. The last person that decided to do so, well, they are, let's say, no longer with us. Think of that what you will. I am very serious when I say nobody is going to be a traitor in this council. Otherwise, you can kiss your new life goodbye at this point. I am dead serious when I say I have had enough of people looking down on this council and looking down on how we work things. You don't like how we do things? Fine. You can take a neutral stance on it. But I assure you, I will hunt you down until you breathe your last breath. So make sure you know where your loyalty stands, yes? <sighs> Anything else? All right, then. Speaking of advancements and other things, the Rebellion won't seem to be a problem that much, as the Royal Guard has been expanding day by day. And plus, a new military is forming, so if anything, our numbers are rising to the ranks. So if they want war, we're ready for it. Understand that if you choose the side of the insurgency, not only will you put yourself in danger, but everyone around you is as good as dead. The insurgency has proven one thing to us, that they won't stand for anything. It could have been different. It seriously could have. But hey, sometimes you gotta take some to lose some, right? Right? Right. Right. Mm -hmm, right. You are correct. Yes, yes. This is why we should stop this before it gets any worse. Unfortunately, I don't even think the gods will be on our side. <laughs> so we shouldn't rely on them too much. 
After not all, that we, we should don't focus on it. our numbers. Not like we need the gods for a war like this, as history has proven. <clears throat> I'm well aware of that factor. Their support will be a great factor, but obviously we won't, shouldn't rely on it. We should show the insurgency that we're not to be messed with or belittled. That also begs the question. There will most likely be many more insurgency members as time goes on. Because it seems like support is gathering. I have a few names that I think might be of under suspicion, but can't exactly pinpoint anything without clear hard evidence. After all, that's what started this shit show to begin with. <laughs> now you may be wondering, how do we know that Sky's the leader? Well, a private source gave us a nice little slip of paper during the ball, explaining that they <laughs> were the traitor. <laughs> ah yes, that was the most... <laughs> and I trust this source endlessly. And well, if Sky really were innocent, they wouldn't have ran away. They wouldn't have fired at us. That's true. But I wasn't expecting my own son to be amongst those ranks. I'm streaming. Anyways, brother, you might want to calm yourself before, you know, your eyes start glowing. I think I'm fine, thanks. Anyways, does anybody else want to bring something to the table? <coughs> you really need to take care of yourself. Sorry. Yeah. Can't have the red right hand getting sick now. Does I'm anybody fine. else want to bring something to the table? I'd actually like a bit of clarification. What is it? Not a few things. From my understanding, we have laws, correct? Of some sort, some form, some system that wants to be put in place? Of course. What exactly are the laws? I don't fully understand exactly what's meant to be enforced and what's not when the laws aren't clearly outlined. Okay, well, for that case, Ju Justin, do you want to tell her or should I? I think it's best of you. Simple, Swanson. Very simple. They're confirmed to be a traitor? Kill him on the spot. If they're still under suspicion, we have no hard evidence. Just put them in the cell. We have a Yuki. <laughs> we have a place for that. Huh? Listen, okay. What? I know there's some. I know there's some targets that I'm willing to pass by, but there are some that need to be arrested. Ah, <sighs> fine. I'm not killing we'll just... my own son, but I of want course. answers. Of course. That's why I said put them in the cell. We're obviously not going to kill family. The not necessarily decides whether we kill or lock them up. Should it not be the same punishment for everyone that commits the crime? Well, obviously we can put them in the cell, decide their fate afterwards. But if they actively try something, you know, actively try to harm any of the New World personnel, I think it warrants death, as it doesn't it? Self-defense. Yeah. Of course. Only, mer only kill those in self-defense. Hmm. So... You wouldn't want to release a serial killer if they were killing, now would you? Huh. Of course. So, Swanson, here's the punch. We find the insurgency people, toss them in the cell, then we'll decide their fate as a council. Through the, well, the court, the usual court system. I don't mind following the rules. If I don't follow my own rules, then what better... How much better would it be than me? 
like, sorry. Oh my god. The lack of sleep is getting to my head, and it's messing with my words. Think of it this way, okay? The insurgency, or rebellion, whatever we're gonna call them, thinks about action before planning. We need to plan before action. Of course. People get sloppy in the long run. And I think there's no better person for that kind of stuff than my own sister. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I'm not... I'm not Athena for nothing. Anyways. So just understand that even if there isn't a structured law system at the moment, it doesn't matter in these circumstances. I've been trying my very best as someone to make a law system, but it's kind of hard to do that when I have to wake up at night and think that maybe, just maybe, someone's creeping by my, win my window just waiting to shoot me. Because I know someone wants me dead. And so, so, and so, as me as well. I, I know very well people want me dead. I think everybody should take that into some consideration. The insurgency comes knocking at your door. They'll offer you something. And it's up to you whether you choose to live a life of fear or to or live freedom. a life of freedom. It's very simple. Because at the I end mean... of the day, who is fighting for the better? Is it us or them? We give you everything. We care for you. We protect you. And by damn it, if anybody wants to shit on our lawn or try to ruin what we've made because of some little tax law, then damn it, I think you know what decision you need to make. Think about that. All of you think about what we've been saying. This meeting isn't just to address issues. It's to address the big elephant in the room. So what's it going to be? I'm here, aren't I? I'm on the side of the new world. Better or for worse. You're doing an excellent job, Swanson. I have no doubt you'll be able to fulfill your duties quite well. And, if it, and even if you're going to feel neutral about this whole thing, you're still going to do your job. I know you as a person. I'm not concerned about what people think. I'm more concerned about how you act. Do your job. How you feel should come last. Because in all honesty, it's very inevitable. We humans be we humans rely on emotions to help us think, right? It's a natural response and sometimes overrides irrational thoughts. But in all honesty, having too much rational thought, too much emotional, well, it le leads to humans doing unspeakable things. Even sometimes petty. But depends on us and how we balance it out. I, for one, I'm more of a rational person than emotional. It doesn't help anybody whenever they feel or use their heart instead of their head. So I suggest you do the same. Anyways, moving on to other topics, is there anything else someone would like to ask? Any developments on your lands, your colonies, whatever? Um, would you mind if I uh, informed you all of some changes in Dogeland? Ah, uh, yes, please. By Stand all means, up. Go ahead. Take the, take the center. So as you guys know, Dogeland was just a single inn um, run by me. Um, however, as you can probably tell, I'm kind of a little sleep deprived. Um, 
over the last couple of weeks, I've been working on a little project of mine with some of the villagers I found that are local in the area. Um, and I'll be uh, pretty soon unveiling a new area for everyone to come and visit called the Spirited Oasis. Um, it's gonna, I'll send out some invites later on and some other things, but um, main thing is that we've been working on this new area uh, so that Japan will have a nicer uh, little area to visit and travel to for uh, for just days off and excursions. Hmm, so it's a neutral zone. Yes. Ah, business must not be conducted in neutral zones. That's going to be a little bit concerning for our end, anyways. What will you do when, well, insurgency members decide to take shelter there? So there is, since it's going to be a neutral area, I just ask that there are no forms of uh, obvious, like attacking them um, or doing anything that could be considered harmful to anyone. However, if they were to leave the area, it's you guys can do whatever you guys need to do. All right, I'll respect your neutral zone then. As people have respected Haven as a neutral zone. Thank you. So I, I was going to let yes. you all know, you guys are more than welcome to put your posters up there as well. All right, then. I'll make sure to tell Bentley over here to go do that. He's been doing a very good job so far. And one thing, one last thing to know, I spoke with Ali before coming here. Um, she has taken ill, so that's why she's not here today. Ah, no wonder I didn't see dear sister. All right, then. If, is that all? Yes, it is. Thank you for letting me speak. I appreciate it. Yeah, please it's go back to pleasure. your seat. Anyone else? Any recent developments I should know about? Um, may, may I speak? Yes, go ahead. Take the stand. Um... Th thanks for all letting me uh, join. I know I'm not m a member of the council, um, but I would just like to inform everyone that the Woodland Research Centre is fully established, and I am waiting for the personnel to uh, enter the facility and begin work. Project uh, Genesis will be underway, and I hope that all of you will give us your full support uh, when it comes to questions we have of you and uh, other, other other things um other than that i would also like to say that you are more than everyone in this room is more than welcome to enter the facility and look around and ask questions as much as need be as much as you need uh information we we at the research center believe information should be given freely it is not a neutral zone it is under new world jurisdiction but if you have questions about anything, feel, you feel free to come and ask any one of the science, uh, the lab, la, sorry, laboratory doctors. In uh, other things, if you have personal uh, requests for certain projects or things that need to be undergone, please come talk to me or a member of the facility so we can um, look at what your project or what you would like for it to do. For example, if there is medical technology that you need or want to create, please come talk to me or one of the medical doctors within the facility, and we will be more than happy to facilitate facilitate time and dedicate and dedication to your project or uh, area of research that you require. Um, it's good that you're actually prioritizing healthcare. We do technically need that. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. I oh, yeah. I recently yeah. found out from Bentley, by the way. Asia. Yeah. You're a medical professional. Uh, yeah, I yeah. am. Huh. You might want to have to share your knowledge with everybody else then. You're basically the one person, well, besides the maid, the Luna fella. Besides them, that are a doctor or medical practitioner, so might want to utilize your skills there. It, um, yeah. If you have something of use to the 
the research center please come in contact we need all the information we need. We need everything, or well, the information we can get, sorry. I can so always can... help out. Oh, yes, no. by the way, Justin, what is Project yeah. Genesis? I'm really unfamiliar. Speaking of which, I have some packages, or at least a package to deliver you, deliver to you soon. But I'll deliver it at the mansion itself, but great yes, work but... on the strides you've been developing. Um, it's okay. And uh, for the record, Project Genesis is the is the research conducted to or uh, is to, to so hang on, I need to check the, just so I can physically understand which one it is. Go Project on. Genesis is to is the question to find out what happened to the old world and where what happened to the old world and why we're here. Speaking um, of which that's, I guess that's a good question to come up with. Considering the fact that we're exploring around this empty world, has anybody found anything else besides the sinkholes? Anything at all that would be able to help us maybe possibly figure out what happened to it? Uh, Any oh. Yes? I, I, don't, I don't know if this is really relevant. This happened a while ago, and I just haven't managed to bring it up. But, like, two ago maybe less than that Zolan and I were out doing sciencey stuff and we came across a ruin type thing a ruin yeah it was really weird it was on this mountain and there was a lot of blood and really not great stuff. oh boy and we found a note and it was like a puzzle and then whenever we solved the puzzle the mountain destroyed itself They probably booby trapped it in case something else decided to walk in. So the ruins are gone, essentially. Um, we left while the the ruins itself are. I don't know if the mount, like how much the mountain is still there, because we got out of there whenever it started collapsing around us. Did you find anything? Did you find anything? Uh, we found like, like this code and a map, but we don't know. Do you have it? Do you uh, have it? Not on me, but I have it. Like, I have it. We probably, you probably need to take it to the, well, give it to your dad, actually, okay. so that they can take it to the research center, or just give it to them. Interesting. Yes. Ruined structure That's... collapses after you find something, anything else that was there besides that? It sounds, it sounds booby-trapped, brother. It sounds like somebody decided to booby-trap it just in case... They got the prob this probably done during the Illager era. Well, you can't Just exactly the assume these things unless you know. That is true. For all we know, the ruins could have collapsed just because of the fact that they were ruins. Probably, yeah, yeah. They probably couldn't handle the structure. I decided mean, to collapse yeah. itself. You wouldn't walk on a half broken bridge, so of course, those are the kind of things that happen. So we got ourselves some ruins that were not discovered till, well, a oh, while ago. Finally, finally some developments on that blasted information. That's the one thing even some I sort can't of, talk some about. Some sort of puzzle code. Some sort of map of some kind. That map might be useful. Did you ever figure out where it is? By any I chance? I, I don't know, because the map is like really... I don't even know if it's a map. It looks like a map, but it's like... If it is, it's like super zoomed in and it's like really like white and mm. I don't know how to describe it. It's, it's weird. We'll take a look at that. We'll probably have to take a look at that and see. Please bring it by um, the research center when you can and we'll take a look at it. If that's okay with you. I think it's more or less wise to put that towards Project Genesis. Yeah. Because well, it's a development. Even if it isn't a development, it's something that's strange. I don't that even think true. anybody in this room would even do something like that. Yeah. <sighs> also, as far as I'm concerned, none of our buildings are so overstructured to the point where they would fall to ruins. So, for all we know, it could be an old world relic. No. On other notes, if anyone has theories or has some anything to, uh, if they believe they understand or know. Anything about the end of the old world, please bring it forward. Um, 
c come by the research center at any point and just either give us your research or come and talk to me or some when the other uh, lab techs arrive talk to them um we need all the information we can get uh thanks no, for letting true. me talk i'm going to go sit back sit back down now no problem anyways anything else um i have something small but i feel like yes it be worth mentioning um yes so go ahead So, I feel like it's it's kind of both not and is worth mentioning. Um, Orlade has a small school, which I talked to you about this, Yuki. Um, oh, yes. Most, most of you have are above my, you know, education level, obviously. But I know that there are some people here that, like, within the world that didn't, like, finish schooling or haven't, like done things, and I'm also willing to teach, like, basic need things, like farming, or, mm -hmm. like, you know, different yeah. things that they might need to go about in a, their daily life. In, actu in actuality, how I found out my my children were missing is I was going to send them there when I went to check out their rooms. I only see Kitty. Oh. Noi and Angel are missing. Yeah. And I was, I planned on, you know, teaching them, but now that they're not they're I'm, I'm sure they're fine but yeah i just felt like it might be worth mentioning that in case anyone like wants to learn like even menial things i'm willing to help teach and i'm sure everyone else in orlade would also be willing to help it's good that you're starting this project honestly an education system is much rather needed mm -hmm. if you need any books from Actually, there is a person that has books on them. You could probably ask them for the copy. Oh. It's the therapist that's in Greenland. Okay. I remember specifically helping them gather those books. Remember that, Justin? Remember it like it was yesterday. Yeah. You could ask them for that. They do need some form of work. And also, if any of you have, well... From the ball, like recent peaky vibes on you, you get what I mean. You can go visit the Greenland therapist. As much as I would love to help, considering I am a psychologist, I am not in the best state right now to assist. So maybe the Greenland therapist could aid you in that. That fellow's probably going insane over there. <laughs> but anyways... Yeah, anything anything else, Sol? Mm, no, I think that's it. Oh, that's good. Oh, go ahead and take your seat. Oh, it's good that this new world is getting some kind of development, even if it's slow, but yes. Anything else? No? Then are we free to adjourn this meeting? I think it's best if we do. I think they've got the message. But before we do, just a recap. Rebel, rebel forces are on the rise. It's up to you whether you want to make the decision to join them and die. Or maybe stay with us and maybe see it out. I don't mean to use big words like that, but it almost seems like if you do join them, you might get caught in the crossfire. So think about this choice, as I said wisely. And if anybody who is New Order has any information about them, their whereabouts, possible leads, or even a place that they own secretly, you are to inform us. These people are dangerous. And even though we're prepared for them, or getting ready to, it's good to stop a force before it even starts. If you need any more security detail, Justin and I will see what we can do. The new world is expanding. And well, it's us. It's up to us to prevent the dark days. Of course. But again, that's all up to you. Make your decision wisely. Because it might be the last one you'll ever make.
depending on the circumstances. So think. As for everything else, the New World Order is expanding beyond recognition. Our two militaries are now being recruited, so our numbers are rising. Things are being made, such as our prison, and some secret projects that we can't really get into, unfortunately. And it looks like we have ourselves a new oasis and some schools that are developed. Even if the world's going to shit, it's nice to see that there's some sort of other developments being made that are not related to rebellion. So, I think it's safe to say that the, this meeting of the New World Order is now adjourned. If anybody needs me, I'll probably be in my office. Need some sleep, goddammit. Actually, Empress. Hmm? Yes? I do need to speak to you, if you can spare a few moments for me. All right then, come on. We'll take this into my office. Uh, which one is it? Executive. I'm way too tired for this. Uh, there. Where's Bentley? Stand right there. I don't know what's going on. Part of me wanted to say, hey, I'm doing development over in prison sleeping stuff. Yeah, lots of stuff now. Kind of glad that I talked to you beforehand, or I would have been in a bit more shocked than I am now. Yeah. There's a lot to take in, like, all at once, if you didn't know. Yep, good, good, good. It really does get around with the villagers. I wasn't planning to tell them yet. What? Okay, what? okay. But you, but you. Didn't you tell me it was like. It was like. In your house, in your house or, or in your. In your no, no, the, about the my past job. I was going to tell them sooner or later, but not now. Hmm. But it's better than ever. Just be very Just be careful, very careful, Asia, okay? Be very, very, very careful. Very careful. I'm very careful. Oh, I'm, gonna oh, go I'm gonna go try to get the druids I've, I've, I've not, not slept, slept since, since I last talked to you. you. Alright. Yeah, yeah. Some sleep sounds, sounds pretty good, good right now. Right now. Wait, I gotta go in the ocean again. Yeah, this is great. Do I really wanna travel or do I really just wanna take a nap here? Let's take a nap here. Let's find a cozy spot and take a nap there. No, if I don't do that, nothing is going to get done. I still have more stuff to do. Okay, okay. Let's go home and go lay down. Hopefully not fall asleep in a boat. Okay.
Okay. Okay. Sorry, sorry, so far. Boat in hand. Let's go, let's go. Work, work. Let's go home. Let's go sleep. Yay! So, so, hi guys! guys. Y'all got, got two got streams, streams today. today. So, so, I didn't, I didn't know about the emergency meeting, meeting until probably five, five or so five minutes, or minutes beforehand, beforehand because I was because just about to fall asleep. asleep. So, so, I'm kind of so glad, glad that I found that out. Because I, I may have got pinned on, on the watch list. list. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> but thank but you guys thank for watching today, for being here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try, try to get, to some, get some actual sleep, sleep, sleep now. now. Maybe. Maybe. You guys have, you guys a, wonderful have a wonderful night, night now, now okay? okay? Bye, guys! Bye guys.